Well, from very early on, President Trump has made it clear that we would bring a not just a whole of government approach, but a whole of America approach, and that we would focus on those areas of the country most impacted by the coronavirus and on Americans for whom the coronavirus represents the most serious threat. You know, for most Americans, even those that contract the coronavirus, the threat of serious illness remains low. Even if you ca catch the uh, catch the virus, you'll you'll have either mild symptoms or flu-like symptoms and recover. But for seniors, especially those with serious underlying health conditions, the threat of very serious consequences remains real. That's why several weeks ago, uh, the president's uh, coronavirus task force recommended and the president approved an increase in guidelines for every nursing home in America to prevent the spread of infectious disease. We've limited uh, visitors to nursing homes around America. And as we work to reopen America, as the president said, in the weeks, not months ahead, uh, I can assure all of your viewers that we'll continue to focus on those most vulnerable and we'll continue to equip the American people with the kind of practices that uh, that will protect the health and safety of Americans for whom the coronavirus represents a very real threat. Right. Well, rest assured, uh, every decision President Trump has made and every recommendation that's come from the coronavirus task force at the White House has been driven by the most brilliant experts on infectious disease in the world. Um, it's one of the reasons why we produce the 15 days to slow the spread. This, this is what literally every American can do right now, whether you're in an area of the country that's deeply impacted by the coronavirus or has very few infections. This is what every American can do to slow the spread and lessen the impact of the coronavirus. And I recommend that people go to coronavirus.gov to get information about best practices. But to your point, it's also very important that people listen to their state and local authorities. We, we forged a seamless partnership with governors around the country. I spoke to the governor of Washington State earlier today. The president spoke uh, to the governor of New York State as well. We're working with those areas, New York, California, Washington State, soon New Jersey, Illinois, and elsewhere, where we've seen significant outbreak. And in those states where there are much stronger measures, to your point, shelter in place measures, governor of Washington State urging people to stay home, stay healthy, and we fully support those decisions. But the president expressed a desire to to see America get back to work just as soon as possible. And we're gonna be bringing him all the best information about how soon we would be able to put portions of the country back to work or, uh, or, or, the, or certain Americans back to work. But make no mistake about it, the best thing every American can do right now is put into practice the 15 days to slow the spread. That'll, that'll hasten the day that we, can, that we can get America working again. Well, first, our hearts go out, and not just to that family, but to uh, every American family that's lost a loved one uh, to the coronavirus, uh, and all of those that are struggling with serious consequences uh, of this disease. And uh, the most important word that we can give to Americans uh, is, to, is to talk to your doctor. 
we do remain, and the president's expressed his optimism about a long-standing malaria drug uh, known as chloroquine uh, that's been perfectly legal in this country for decades uh, being used to, uh, to provide relief to people that have contracted the coronavirus. The FDA has approved off-label use, but it still requires a doctor's prescription to use that. And so, uh, you know, any of your viewers uh, who think that they may have contracted the disease, we just, we say to them uh, uh, very, very sincerely to reach out, talk to your doctor, listen to your physician. And all the while, I, I promise you that uh, this president and the White House Coronavirus Task Force is going to continue to work with our pharmaceutical companies as they are are developing a vaccine for probably deployment early next year, uh, and uh, but also working on therapeutics that'll bring people real relief that could be available as early as this spring. But we're we're looking for every opportunity where we might be able to bring hope and bring uh, comfort and uh, and 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 render medical assistance to Americans. But it's so important to your point that people talk to your doctor first. Thank you very much. I just, I want to thank all of your viewers for the way tens of millions of Americans have gone to coronavirus.gov and are putting into practice 15 days to slow the spread. All our experts say if every American will at the very minimum do what the president's guidelines suggest, we'll get through this sooner uh, and, uh, and we'll come out stronger than ever before. Thank you.